Good morning, welcome to 10 at 10. Today I'm gonna to look at the area of healing and um, some people ask me, uh, what do you do when you come across a certain issue, problem in life? And uh, they're asking me, um, one, because I'm a minister and they want to know how do I tackle stuff in life? So here's, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you about it. We're going to walk through an aspect. Um, last few days, I haven't been feeling well and, uh, that's not normal and, uh, it's not COVID, but just not feeling well. And so one of the things that I do when I don't feel well is I take the proper medicine. And the word of God is God's medicine for us. Now we certainly can take things over the counter um, to help in that process, but I always go first to the word of God um, to strengthen up my faith in standing against sickness in my life. So one of my favorite scriptures is Acts chapter 10, verse 38. And I can quote it, but I'm just going to read it. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. So let's break that down just a little bit. And then we're going to look all throughout this week um, on aspects of healing and building ourselves. In other words, taking our met, our heavenly medicine to strengthen our bodies. So Acts 10.38 in the NIV says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And listen to this. And how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. You know, <clears throat> if you grew up in a denomination, or if you grew up in certain churches, you may have heard things like, um, God put sickness on people to teach them a lesson. Uh, that just goes against the character of God. Now, I understand that they're probably grabbing from scriptures in the Old Testament. And there was the trouble in the Old Testament translating from Hebrew to English in some of the phrases. The better phraseology would be God allowed sickness to come upon someone. But when we see Jesus in the New Testament, we can see something that is very clear, and that is his love for us and God's demonstrated love for us. Um, I'm reading out of uh, Tony Cook's book, The Lord is My Shepherd, such a great little book. But in the very beginning of the book, he uses Romans chapter 5, verse 8 to establish that God is the good shepherd. And it says, God demonstrated his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So here's a thought. If God loves you so much that he would do something for you to bring eternal life to you, when you were separated from him, how much more will he do something good for you now that you're a part of the family? So in the natural, natural circumstances, we know that we'll do things for our family that we won't do for other people. We may be kind to other people, um, but blood comes first. And Jesus laid down his life for you. He laid down his life for me so that we could experience the wholeness of healing in our lives. So let's go ahead and pray, and then we'll pick up again tomorrow. Father, I thank you for everyone that is watching right now. Lord, uh, we thank you for your healing power that is still available to us today. So we partake of that healing power in our lives. We partake of Acts 10, 38 right now. And we thank you, Father God, that you're not a respecter of persons. In other words, you don't hold it for some and then not for others. 
It's available to everyone. So we receive your healing into our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.